Good morning again. This is Phil, and I am on week three of my update regarding my torn meniscus root repair surgery. Feels like it was done a month ago, so these days have been going by rather slow, but that's okay. Um, so I'll give you a little update about how I'm feeling. I wrote a couple notes down too off to the side, and then just um, just some tips in general. But as I said last week, I think um, my doctor was not happy. I got in the pool, and it was mainly because um, of potential infection where the surgery was. I have since gotten that better. Um, I was using a waterproof bandage uh, as well, which I think helps. So um, I am not going to give advice that a doctor would want to, to hear or endorse. I have to tell you that. So I'm going to be an experiment because I'm a difficult patient. I don't want to I don't want to be sedentary for this this amount of time, but I do think that there's a balance between um, healing and still staying active to the extent that you can. So, um, you know, overall, I'm feeling great. Um, I will say that it's, you know, and I was a long distance runner. I thought I could endure pain. It's almost impossible, in my opinion, to uh, not put any weight on your leg for four weeks. It just... I mean, it's not happening for me. I'm not saying I'm walking, but I'm putting 10%, um, you know, 20% ish weight on my, on my leg just to save, um, you know, my other leg, which is taking a grunt of the, of the weight bearing. Um, so that's uh, one thing for what it's worth. Uh, another is, and I'll just show you my crutches right here. Um, this is an ice pack I'm going to put on pretty soon, by the way, and keep it elevated. This is something I got off Amazon and has worked really well. So it's like a compression and a, um, you know, and an ice. Uh, well, it has three, three uh, chambers right here. So, um, but anyway, with the crutches here, I'll move it over here. Um, this has different, you know, you can see this, the pegs here, which control the, the height. Um, it goes from... Let me see here. It goes from what five two to five ten. Um, I would encourage you guys and gals that are on crutches to uh, rotate those notches every few days. Otherwise, you're going to get really sore from being in the exact same uh, position and height. You're going to get a certain part of your body that um, gets gets really sore. So I'm about five nine, but I've rotated it between. Um, I think all the all the holes just to work different muscles in my body and um, you know like I said every few days just keep things um, fresh and different so you're not you're not getting injured um, and you're not getting sore. Um, this is a kind of a random thought, but I, you know I was coming into the office today and I think that well I doubt I'm going to be able to get to a point of um, you know, the level of running that I was at again, maybe I'm wrong, but my knee feels different after this root repair surgery. I've had, you know, probably two or three regular meniscus repairs, but nothing of this level. So, um, even though they didn't have to take out any of the meniscus, I just have my doubts about that. So it's not necessarily a downer. I'm almost 40. And maybe this is just what happens, but, um, you know, I'm definitely going to spend more time swimming and probably a mix of cardio between, you know, elliptical, um, bike, swim, and then I probably call it jogging, um, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, you know, and what else is depressing is the fact that I'm putting so much pressure on my other, um, other leg that I'm fearful of an injury. So I just need to be really, really careful. So... Um, today I will swim probably a mile over lunch, um, and then hit the, um, you know, the sauna and the steam room, uh, just, just for some stretching that has worked out really well. I've been able to maintain my weight. Um, obviously I cut back a little bit calorically, but, um, you know, I've been happy about that. And I think I'll get to a point where I'm mixing up that type of cardio that I, described before, um, you know, I'm back on my regular diet and, and, um, you know, feel just as good as I did before. So I have another appointment tomorrow cause I'm in the doghouse, um, due to the fact that I swam too early. The doctor just wants to see my leg, but, um, he's saying then, 
uh, a week from today, which would be four weeks that I'll be able to start walking again. Um, he's describing it as 20% weight, um, which I've already told you I've done. Um, and then, you know, progressively going up from there. So we'll see what the update next week looks like, but hopefully I will be without those crutches. I'm going to throw them in a river somewhere and, um, you know, just, just, uh, rock the brace out a bit. And then I'm, you know, I'm assuming I'll have to use the brace for a period of several weeks. So more to come next week. Thanks guys. Have a great day.